Dmitry Klimanov fled eastern Ukraine in 2014 when fighting with Russia-backed separatists began. He left his home and publishing business in Stakhanov in Luhansk province. Shortly after leaving, separatists told him to come back or lose everything. He says when he didn't return, this man, Cossack leader Pavel Dryomov, moved in. Many other homes remain empty. On a recent nighttime drive through separatist-held Luhansk, only around half the windows were lit up. It's estimated a fifth of the population fled in 2014. This may be about to change. Separatist authorities in Luhansk recently approved new property regulations. They said it's now possible to enter unoccupied apartments without permission in order to carry out repairs to war-damaged buildings. In October, separatist leader Igor Martinov announced that some empty properties would be seized. Soon after, Martinov retired and his comments were not followed by action. But the new rules on entering buildings for repairs have rekindled concerns. Donetsk real estate broker Sergei Takhtarov points out that they come amid surging rents for housing in the main separatist-held cities of Luhansk and Donetsk. Желающих больше, чем квартир, та часть населения, которая может себе позволить снять, они уезжают от тех обстреливаемых районов. The separatists recently seized mines and factories on territories they control. Some fear a mass confiscation of abandoned housing may be the next step. <laughs>